Did you know that in the United States, every 14 seconds, somebody sits on, breaks, or loses a pair of sunglasses? In today's video, strange but interesting facts about sunglasses. First up, sunglasses can make you look cool, mysterious, and even more attractive. Now, the first part of this research comes out of Nottingham Trent University, and what they discovered is that sunglasses make people look cool because they add a sense of mystery. Now, out of the University of Nevada, they had a study, and what they found is that mystery equals desire. So, people wearing sunglasses actually, they had more intrigue with them. They actually came off as more attractive. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking, Antonio, I need a lot more than a sense of mystery to be attractive. Don't worry, sunglasses also have you covered when it comes to symmetry. Symmetry is something we naturally look for in another partner, another human being. We look for a balance in the face. This tells us they've got good genes. Now, all of us naturally have a bit of asymmetry. That's where one side is different than the other. But where people look at are the eyes, and that helps them determine, does this person actually have more asymmetry, therefore less attractive? The cool part about sunglasses, they create this symmetrical look and they hide the eyes. So, actually, if you've got it a bit off, these right here are going to make you look more attractive. The next strange fact, sunglasses affect how you behave. You are actually less generous. So, this comes out of the University of Toronto. What they found is they gave $6 to participants and they said, hey, go ahead and divide this up. Some of those participants were wearing sunglasses when they were dividing up the money. What they found is because they felt more anonymous, they were less likely to be generous. So, if you're asking somebody for a donation, Make sure that they take off those sunglasses. Next up, your sunglasses lens color matters a lot. Now, brown lenses, they can cause some color distortion, but they also increase contrast. Gray and green lenses are considered neutral because they maintain true colors. Amber and yellow lenses are optimum for object definition. Basically, you're going to be able to spot things better. That's why these lenses are incredibly popular with skiers, hunters, boaters, and pilots. Now, blue or purple lenses are loved by shooters as that they can increase the contrast of orange targets against a green foliage. Oh, and by the way, you like those infographics? Guys, I'm linking to them down in the description as well as Real Men Real Style. My website, I've got free courses. I've got so many great ebooks you need to check out because we've actually improved almost all of our ebooks. I can tell you these things are solid. They're great. You're going to go in there and learn about shoes. You're going to be able to learn about watches. You're going to be able to learn about anything so that you can start to use style to become the man you know yourself to be. The next interesting fact about sunglasses, they're older than modern civilization. Not this pair, but if you go and you look at ancient hunters, hunting masks. What you'll find is they actually had small slits for the eyes. The reason they did this is if you're hunting on snow, think of all that glare, you can't see anything. So, they would actually use those slits to only allow in a little bit of light and then they could actually better see and hunt. Now, another interesting fact is that sunglasses have been a status symbol for a long time. Let's go back to 12th century China and we will see that smoky lenses made from quartz actually were used to hide people's expressions. So, talk about poker face, but I think they were actually used apparently by judges who didn't want people to see actually what they were thinking. And then, let's go to ancient Roman times. Let's look at the Emperor Nero. So, he's wearing these jeweled glasses whenever he's watching a gladiator fight. So, when did sunglasses become mainstream? Who do we have to thank an entrepreneur named Sam Foster in 1929. After a decade of failure, this guy starts selling these sunglasses on the beach. Basically, Atlantic City beachgoers started seeing these things, picking them up. Some movie stars apparently saw this, started wearing them, and all of a sudden, everyone wants to wear sunglasses because movie stars are wearing sunglasses, and that's when it started to pick up. Now, Sam Foster got things going, but this next fact that the Air Force actually created the first sunglass company is really interesting. So, in 1936, the Air Force realizing that pilots who are flying at these high altitudes, be, you know, the light is just really bad up there, the goggles just are not working, they need an elegant solution to this. So, they get Bosch and Lom, this company, to go over and start creating the first aviator sunglasses. Now, Bosch and Lom realizes this is an opportunity. So, in 1937, they create the company Ray-Ban to actually be the distributor and the maker of these sunglasses. So, Ray-Ban invented the aviators, but this next fact, who was the first poster boy is going to be interesting because it wasn't an aviator. In fact, they didn't even have that name till the 1950s and 60s. No, the first poster boy for aviators was a non-aviator. And in 1944, when he landed in the Philippines after his famous 1942 I Will Return speech, 
Everyone saw these photos all over the world. That was General Douglas MacArthur. Whenever he landed and he had those on, everybody wanted them. Next up, 99% of people do not know what polarized sunglasses actually do. Now, I made that up. But what I'm not making up is that early research on polarized sunglasses thought that it could protect your eyes from the light coming off the blast of a nuclear weapon. Now, I, I don't know what happened to the people looking at those nuclear weapons, but I do know that if you buy polarized sunglasses nowadays, what you're going to get is something that's going to protect you from glare. And that's what you want. Glare is light coming from different directions that's going to distort what you're looking at. So, if you want to be able to see something directly in front of you better, you want to go with polarized glasses. But but if that doesn't bother you, then I guess you don't need them. So now the million dollar question, do you need polarized sunglasses? I think that they're nice to have. I wouldn't maybe pay double for it, but it is something that I like the anti-glare properties. Whenever I buy sunglasses, I look for something that's going to actually function and serve me well. Now, are these going to protect me from a nuclear blast or at least the light? Uh, I'm not going to try testing that. But in most cases, I do think it's worth spending a little bit extra to get good glasses. All right, guys. So, I know that you learned something new in today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this and go check out that description. I've got links to the infographics, links to more of the guides at Real Men Real Style going over sunglasses, going over watches, going over shoes. All of these free tutorials and guides are there for you so that you can become the man you know yourself to be. And guys, if you want more, maybe you're noticing this shirt and this pocket square combination. You're like, Antonio, how did you pull that off? Guys, I've got you covered in this video right here, how to always match your pocket square with your outfit. I talk about ties, but I also go into the shirts a little bit, talk about the suits. I talk about this as a camera canvas. And just to give you a quick tutorial, this right here, what I went for, obviously a loud shirt and the pocket square right here, a very simple white cotton pocket square with a square presidential fold. This combination works well with these sunglasses, not too bad. You could go out if it wasn't freezing cold right here in Wisconsin. I could, well, I could put on a jacket, which by the way, I've got this video for you right here, the ultimate guide to finding the right winter jacket for you. See, I've got you covered here at Real Men Real Style. Tons of great information, guys. I love what we do and I love you being a part of this community. And uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments comments what you guys think. I am always looking to learn from you guys. That's it. Take care. I will see you in the next video. What if you try to text someone? Do you use both hands or only one? Believe it or not, you have options to use either. You're talking about being positive, but you never smile. I smile in my videos, don't I guys? Jakari Hickory Hill. Hey, Antonio, can we get your take on this new wave of men's fashion? I'm speaking of men's high heels and business skirts for men. This is real. It would be really great to get your take on this trend. Me, I don't think it's going to catch on. That's just my opinion. It's one of those events where once you leave, you want to just go instantly change the world tomorrow. It really gets you to take action. This community, this room full of people, it's all about love and it's all about support and knowing that we can do this together and lift each other up. And it's something that I just believe that if we make better men in this world, we're gonna have a better world. Hey, what's going on there? Did you grab a ticket? Guys, the virtual ticket, 20 bucks. This is a ticket that we did start selling for $300. But Aaron's like, you know, make it a no-brainer. Make it so cheap that people are like, I mean, are you kidding me? The value that's going to be in this? We're talking over 20 hours of live interaction and content. Find a way get there. And if you can't, then grab that virtual ticket, guys. No brainer. And again, the price will go up. So, grab it here soon. That's it, guys. Take care. It's 20 bucks. Come on.